We begin tonight with developing news as state education officials push for more students to return to the classroom. Thanks for joining us for Western Mass News at 10 on Fox 6. I'm Chris Pisano. And I'm Jordan Jagalinzer. New requirements just released by the Department of Elementary and Secondary Education call for elementary and middle school, middle school students to be back fully in person next month as COVID-19 metrics continue to improve. Now Western Mass News reporter Lindsay Kane is live for us tonight in Springfield with those details. Lindsay. Chris and Jordan, all elementary school students across the state are required to be back in school five days a week starting April 5th. I spoke to local school officials and parents who say this is a realistic plan. It's something I've been asking for a very long time. All elementary school students across the state are now required to be in school fully in person five days a week starting April 5th, with middle schoolers closely behind by April 28th. A plan is still in the works for high schoolers. I'm actually all for the idea. I understand a lot of parents um, are not, um, and I respect that. I think it's a personal decision. The Department of Elementary and Secondary Education Commissioner Jeffrey Riley on Tuesday mandating hybrid learning days and remote days to no longer count towards required learning hours. The full return to school includes a mask mandate for students and staff, three feet social distancing, and six feet social distancing during lunch. Nicole DeNoyer is a parent of a fifth grader and kindergartner in Springfield. She says she's relieved to see the new mandate after a difficult year of remote learning. Children haven't been given a chance to be in person in Springfield at all, unlike many other districts. So I'm all for them getting back in the building. West Springfield Mayor Will Reichelt tells Western Mass News his district is currently in a hybrid learning model. But school officials are already starting to update plans to put Desi's requirements in motion. I'm hopeful that we're able to do that. I'm hopeful that we can bring our, our older kids back earlier, too, and instead of later in April. Try to bring back more students earlier in April. Over in East Hampton, Mayor Nicola Chappelle says the state State's requirements are realistic, and she's hoping this puts the ball in motion to have a normal graduation at the end of the school year. I do see a little bit of, of light that maybe uh, we'll be able to celebrate those achievements um, and the students will with their families. I'm, I'm hopeful. Parents can still choose to keep their children in a remote learning model until the end of the year. Meanwhile, school districts who are in a fully remote learning model right now can apply for a waiver. Live in Springfield, Lindsay Kane, Western Mass News.